Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So who's ready to make some delicious homemade bread? I know I am. So this recipe is so quick and simple, guys. And just wait until you smell your house while it's baking. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so here's the ingredients you're gonna need. It's not, it's not a lot, it's actually a few ingredients that you probably have on hand. And I will also put them in the description box for you as well. So you're gonna need three cups of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need a one fourth teaspoon of yeast. You're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. You're gonna need one and a half cups of very hot water. Not boiling, but almost to the point of boiling. We need it really hot, because that's what activates the yeast. You're gonna also need a Dutch oven, because that's what we're gonna be making it in today. And that's it, guys, to make this incredible bread. So let's get to baking. Okay, okay so what I have here is a bowl just a little spatula. I have my ingredients right next to me ready, and we're gonna go ahead and put it all in the bowl. So remember, we're gonna need three cups of all-purpose flour. We're also gonna need a little whisk because we're not sifting this. We're just gonna give it a nice whisk. Um, okay, so to the flour, we're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. And then I already measured out my um, yeast and I put it in a bowl. Get it all out of there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just give this a nice whisk just to break it up and incorporate it really well. Now remember, you need extremely hot water not boiling, but almost to the point of boiling because that's what's gonna activate this yeast. And uh, so we're not waiting all night as normal, typical bread would be, where you have to put it on a count, um, you know, somewhere warm, like an oven or a microwave and um, keep it overnight. But this is really easy and quick, activates in three hours, and then we're good to go. All right, so that's been mixed. To this, we're gonna go ahead and put the hot water one and a half cups. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix it slowly. We don't wanna to put too much air in there. So we're just gonna mix uh, just until incorporated. Now this is a very sticky, stringy dough. That's good, that's what we want. Just mix it around. See how it's stringy? That's what we want. And then, like I said, guys, we're gonna put it on the counter. You don't need to put it anywhere warm, not a microwave or an oven. Um, and we're just gonna place it on a counter somewhere and just leave it for three hours. Now, you guys can leave it longer, obviously. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, if you have to run out or do an errand, um, it doesn't have to be exactly three hours. It can go anywhere, you know, past the three hours, um, but not any, any less than three hours. All right, guys, that looks great. And like I said, it's a very sticky, stringy dough. That's what we want. All right, that looks great. Don't worry, I washed my hands, my fingers. Now to this bowl, we're just gonna cover it with some saran wrap. Which I hate, I hate saran wrap. Or saran wrap hates me, I don't know, one of the two. Make sure it's tight and covered. And that's it guys, we're gonna go ahead and leave this for three hours and we will be back as soon as this hits the three hour mark so we can finish up this bread. All right, welcome back. So it's, now that it's been three hours, Get the bowl that was on the counter, and we're gonna go ahead and take the plastic wrap off. And as you can see, it's all nice and wiggly and jiggly and bubbly, and that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna set that aside for one second, and we're gonna go ahead and flour the board and make a nice generous amount of flour on the board because it's so sticky. We don't want it to stick to the board, obviously, or whatever surface you're using to do this. 
Now, this bread is really nice. It doesn't need any kneading. Um, however, we're going to need to just um, put it in sort of like a ball. So we're going to go ahead and scrape that right onto the surface that you're using. Get all that goodness out. And we're going to go ahead and put some more flour so that we could work with it. And if you don't have a spatula, you could probably just use your hand. Um, like I said, we're just kind of putting it into a ball. And like I said, there's no kneading to this, which is great. And you just kind of work it. Nothing fancy. Just kind of make like a ball of dough. Put a little more flour on it. And that's it, guys. That was so quick and easy. Um, that's why it's nice uh, to have this recipe because there's no kneading involved. That's, that's all you do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get another bowl, which I have here. And move this. And what we're going to do is, it's, a, it's actually a little tip. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of parchment paper in here. So that it doesn't stick. And we're just going to take the dough and put it right there in the parchment paper. It looks great. And we're going to let this sit with a towel on it for about 30 minutes while we get our oven preheated to 450 degrees. So once that's done, preheat your oven to 450 degrees and we'll be right back. The oven is preheating to 450 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and get our cast iron ready. Now, once the oven is done preheating, and make sure it's at 450 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and place the pot with the top on into the oven and preheat the pot as well. Um, usually it'll take about five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the pot out and put the bread in there. All right, guys, so my oven is preheated to 450 degrees. I just took my pot out that has been preheating for about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and uncover the bread, and it looks like it rise just a little bit, which is great. We don't need it to rise that much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the hot Dutch oven. Make sure you're using pot holders because this is gonna be hot. And we're gonna take it with the parchment paper, and we're gonna put it right into the pot just like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and cover the pot back up. And we're gonna put this back into the oven for 30 minutes. All right, guys, your house should be small and absolutely amazing at this point. I know mine is, and I cannot wait to eat the bread, but we do have to wait just a little longer. So I'm taking my bread out. It's been 30 minutes. We're gonna check it out together. A little steamy in here. This looks absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top off. We're gonna put it back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's golden brown and it's a nice crunchy crust. So we'll be back to check on this in about 15, 20 minutes. I've been in the oven for about 15 minutes with the top off. And here's the bread. It looks absolutely amazing. And we're gonna have to let it cool off probably about 10, 15 minutes before we can cut into it. We're just gonna take it out of the pot and put it somewhere to cool off. And it smells absolutely delicious in this house. All right, guys, there you go. Rexy's artisan bread from the Dutch oven. And after it cools off a little bit, we'll go ahead and cut it and slice it and uh, check it out together. It's been about 10, 15 minutes that I let this uh, cool. It's probably not fully cooled, but I literally cannot wait anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice it. Do you hear that? You can do some ASMR with that crunch. It's a little hot. 
Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can you smell it? I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like and subscribe if you guys want to see some more. Bye, guys.